In a recent debate, New York Democratic House candidate Martha Robertson almost got laughed off the stage when she said this. Tom, it seems to me you're part of the war against women. You've supported continued... Wait. Please, everybody, please. So it seems the left is losing their battle to push the war on women message, and these numbers prove it. A new AP GFK poll shows 44 percent of likely women voters favor Republicans as opposed to 42 percent who favor the Democrats. But in the same poll last month, women favor Democrats 47 to 40 percent. Quite a big slide there. So what's behind the shift just within the last month? Should the left lose their war on women line for good? Joining us now to debate it, Republican strategist Lisa Booth and Democratic strategist Alexis McGill Johnson. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Anna. Thanks for having us. Alexis, I'll start with what really matters on Election Day is who is motivated to get out and vote. So what's the deal with this war on women and the correlation to voting patterns do you expect? Look, I totally agree. I think I think midterms come down to turnout and they come down to intensity. Uh, but when you have, you know, anytime you have a party that has been actively against uh, minimum wage, equal pay, uh, promoting legislation that is essentially anti-women's health, you do have a war on women. Maybe the language is, is a little uh, uh, tired at this point, but I got to tell you, there are a lot of women who are motivated when you look at the polls among base voters in, uh, in the Democratic Party, they are still prioritizing women's issues as, as number two, just behind the economy. And so I think we do realize that there is a war on women. The majority of minimum wage yep. workers are, are women. And I think we need to be thinking about that. Lisa, you're chomping at the bit. Weigh in. Right. Yeah. Because, look, this whole war and woman concept is laughable. It truly is laughable. And this Associated Press and the fact that Republicans are gaining ground with women is a game changer. And it paints a very bleak picture for Democrats this November. Democrats have bet the farm this election cycle that their war and woman playbook would work again like it did last election cycle. But their attempts are falling flat across the country. And if you look at tough Senate races like Colorado and Arkansas, the Republican candidates there are actually winning with women voters right now. And it's not just Senate races either. If you look at governor's races like the one in Texas with someone like Wendy Davis, who's really become the face of the pro-abortion movement and who's also a woman, she's a woman. She's losing against uh, her Republican candidate, Greg Abbott, with women voters. Not so much, though, right? She's actually made so much progress in the last in the last few weeks, and, it, and it's about the base that she is turning out. I mean, I would argue you look at North Carolina, you look at New Hampshire and Jean Shaheen and uh, Kay Hagan in North Carolina, and you see women who are pushing a message about not just not just uh, abortion or access to contraception, but issues that really matter to to women. Working women, we're talking about minimum wage, we're talking about equal pay, and that is putting them over the edge, and they're not afraid to run from that. Lisa, will this backfire? <laughs> Right. Well, no, I think Democrats have really taken women voters for granted, and they've put so much stake and really have tagged women voters as single-issue voters, and we're not. We care about more than contraception. We care about more than birth control. And if you look at a Senate race like Colorado, it's really taken precedent there, where the Denver Post, which is the largest uh, paper in Colorado, and who also endorsed Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012, actually endorsed uh, Mark Udall, who's the Democrat uh, incumbent there. They endorsed his uh, opponent, Cory Gardner mm -hmm. solely for that reason. They blasted Mark Udall for making this race singular, a singular focused race on women's issues in abortion and contraception. Alexis got the first word. Lisa gets the last. Thank you so much, ladies. And we'll Thank you, Anna. And on, on Facebook.